Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Elegant Corner. In this video, we will be seeing about the rebound hammer test. In concrete technology, basically we are seeing two types of test parameters. The first thing is destructive and the second thing is non-destructive testing. So in destructive testing, where the specimen used to place under the equipment, missionary, so we will be applying load from the top and we can see the damage condition to the specimen by applying the load, whether it may be compressive, split or flexure. But in this non-destructive testing, by the use of the rebound hammer, there won't be any part of the damage to the specimen. Without damaging to the specimen, we can determine the compressive strength of the required or given the given Before channel. starting this video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe our channel Elegant Corner and press the bell icon. You will be getting the notification after posting the video. Now we will be seeing the what are the various parts of the ribbon hammer. The first foremost thing is plunger. The thing which we used to see here is plunger. And this thing is metal body. This whole thing we used to call it as metal body. And this part we used to call it as ribbon scale. This part we used to call it as ribbon scale where we can see the various numberings upon it. These numberings are nothing but the indications of the rebound number. So through which we will be determining the compressive strength. And here you can see the lock here. After apply application of the load, we need to press this so that it will be locked and the rebound number will be noted. So these are all the external parts. Coming to the internal parts, the mechanism and the things inside is nothing but the spring and mass action. By applying the load to the wall like this, we can see the, we can determine the uh, like compressive strength of the specimen. Working procedure of the rebound hammer. See, for example, this is the specimen, concrete specimen where you would like to test the compressive strength of this wall. You need to place this rebound hammer towards the wall and apply the load against it. Then you will be noticing a sound from the rebound hammer. Immediately you need to press this lock so that at what point the rebound hammer was stuck, it will be noticed. See here. I am applying the load towards the wall and we have noticed a sound and immediately we need to lock it. Now see, upon the scale you can notice the rebound number. After getting the rebound number upon the external scale, to release this plunger again we need to slightly apply the pressure upon it and it will be unlocked and the plunger will be released. Now if you turn the rebound hammer this way. You can see the graphical representation here. The horizontal thing will be representing the rebound number where you have get uh, where you have marked the rebound number after locking, and the vertical thing is nothing but the compressive strength. So with this, we need to uh, uh, shoot out the graph through which your uh, specimen was tested here, and the screen will be displaying the graphical representation at the last, so that if it was applied horizontally or if it is applied vertically or if it is applied from the um, like downward stroke like that basing upon the three types of parameters you can identify the graph basing upon the representation at the last of the video now with the help of yukesh we will be carrying out the test upon the given specimen 